Um, what does your crystal ball tell you about the path of interest rates and, and bond yields? Well, first, thank you very much for having me. Um, and as we have long argued, we do think that the risks skew in the direction of the Fed hiking more aggressively and delivering more rate hikes, front loading, if you will, as long as the data remains strong. Now, we've heard the comments from San Francisco Fed President Mary Daly as well about potentially stepping down. But we believe that the Fed needs justification in order to do that. Right now, what we have seen is that the unemployment rate is at the lowest for this cycle, and core CPI is at the highest for this cycle. And so it's difficult for us to envision a Fed that feels good about reducing the pace of rate hikes when their monetary policy mandate is still so out of balance and inflation is still such an issue and the labor market is still so strong. So where do you see Fed funds a year from now? Well, our house view is that the Fed's target range will be between 4.75 and 5% a year from now. But the risks, as I noted, are skewed to the high side on that. And the reason that they're skewed to the high side is because the economy has been so strong. We thought we would see more signs of labor market softening. We thought we would see the consumer begin to pull back as rate levels have increased. But what we've seen is that the labor market is strong and it's strengthening. It's not softening. And so to us, that just suggests that the risks are for further front loading of rate hikes and wanting to still remain underweight the front end of the Treasury curve. Does 4.75 4 to 5 percent, does that break the back of inflation? Is that enough? Well, we previously thought that it would, but incoming data suggests that it hasn't had much of an impact so far. And the market is pricing about something in line with our expectation already. True. So the market's priced this outcome, and we're not seeing the softening in the labor market. We're not seeing the softening of inflation. So again, that's why the risk skewed to the Fed potentially having to do more. But just to play devil's advocate here, Mark, I mean, you are starting to see some, some weakening and some weakening quickly in certain sectors of the economy, like, for example, housing, which we've been talking about all week on this program. Uh, so, so is it really safe to say that you're not seeing signs that inflation in some aspects is starting to or has the potential to start to abate? And I think just as importantly, the fact that that front end of the curve is still so much higher than the back end, and we have this inversion playing out between different spreads along that curve, what is that signaling? So you're right. Some parts of the economy are showing slowdown. But in aggregate, the economy is still very strong. And while the housing market may very well be in a recession, and it's very difficult to think about wanting to buy a new home with 7-plus percent mortgage rates and elevated home prices where they are today, some correction there seems appropriate and somewhat inevitable. But on balance in the economy today, the consumer is still spending quite health, in, in a quite healthy way. Um, services inflation is still very high, even though goods inflation appears to be moderating to some extent. And perhaps most important of all, the labor market is so strong. Now, what the Fed would ideally like to do is get to a rate level where they are starting to see that the jobs market is softening and that inflation is coming down. And then they'd like to hold there and let the economy sort of play itself out and let conditions slow and financial conditions bite a little bit more aggressively over time. But the challenge that the Fed has today is that they're not sure how far they need to go. Mm -hmm. And the market is certainly pricing a rate level that the Fed has thought would be sufficient to start to slow things down. Mm -hmm. We're not seeing that yet. And so we do think that the Fed is likely to continue to be reactive to the data. They're data dependent. They're very uncertain about the outlook, just like all of us are uncertain about the outlook. Yeah. But we don't know that 475 to 5% will be enough. Again, the market's there already, and the economy at large is still quite strong. Uh, mm -hmm. And they're probably to be more of a slowdown, more broadly spread across the economy to give the Fed confidence that they really can slow things down.